I've got a WinLink challenge for you for Winter Fill Day. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So just like we did for Summer Fill Day 2022, I want to utilize the WinLink position reporting system to try to make a few contacts during Winter Fill Day. Now, if you're not familiar with WinLink position reports, stick around and I'll go over how to uh, both post a position report and how to retrieve uh, position reports of those around you in just a minute. Uh, but the challenge is simply this. Uh, sometime early in the day, when you first get to fill day, I want you to post a WinLink position report. And in the comments, just put WFD challenge. Then, sometime late afternoon or early evening, you want to request those stations that are around you, either the nearest 30 or the nearest 100. Once you've retrieved that data, Go ahead and pick out two or three calls that's got the WFD challenge in the comment section and shoot them a WinLink message. And be sure to include your Winter Field Day exchange. Now, if you're unsure as to how to make all of this happen, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer so I can walk you through it step by step. Now I'm going to be utilizing Linux to show you how to post and retrieve position reports, but this is also available uh, using Windows and the WinLink software. Just look uh, for your catalog and you'll be able to utilize the WinLink catalog to uh, request those position reports. Now, specifically for Linux, there's a couple of different ways we can post these position reports. The first uh, is right from inside the PAT inbox. And if you just come up to Action and click on Position, you'll get a dialog box that pops up. As long as you've got a GPS, which I don't on this particular Raspberry Pi, but as long as you've got a GPS attached to your computer, it'll go ahead and automatically fill in the latitude and longitude for you. And then under the comment section, this is where you want to put that Winter Fill Day challenge. Then you can go ahead and post the message and that will place it in your outbox ready to send. Now let me show you guys one other way to do this as well. This time we're going to be using PAT menu. If you just come down to the PAT catalog, we'll click on that and then click position report. The first thing we would want to do is post the position. So we would choose that in this drop down box. And right here you can put that same comment. Once you've got your comment filled out, click continue and that will post to the outbox as well. So now the next connection you make, that will be sent out. Now, when you're ready to request a position report, again, you're going to come into this Pat Catalog section of Pat Menu, come down to where it says position reports again. This time we're going to request all nearby stations. You also have an option to request 100 mobile stations. It's two different queries you can do. The first one will give you the closest 30 stations to your current position. And the other one will give you the closest 100 stations to your position. For this challenge, it's fine just to use the all nearby stations right here and get the closest 30 to you. Now, when you're requesting, you don't have to put anything here for call sign or comment. You just click continue and it will post that request to your outbox. Now, taking a look at the outbox after you've posted that request, you can see that the message is just sent to inquiry. And then in the body, there's nothing but WL2K underscore nearby. The subject of the email is request. So go ahead and send this out. Then you need to wait four to five minutes and then make another WinLink connection. On that next WinLink connection, you'll get a message back from the WinLink system that will look very similar to what you see on the screen here. And this is where we can see the call sign over on the left-hand side. We can see the distance it is from our current position. It'll also give you the heading. And then out here to the right, it will give you the comment. And if things go as well as Summerfield Day did, you should see several different stations that have the WFD challenge over here in their comment. Once you find those, just pick out a couple of the call signs and send them a message with your Winterfield Day exchange. 
So hopefully you'll be able to utilize the WinLink position reporting system to both post your position and retrieve those around you and make a few contacts during winter field day. This is a really good exercise to get familiar with the WinLink position reporting system. I'll be checking my WinLink messages periodically through winter field day, so feel free to send me a message if you like. I would love to make a contact with you through WinLink. If you found this information helpful, be sure to leave us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.